half bad actually. Not bad at all. Never a big fan of getting skin off onions, do you know that? Bit of garlic. Get the skin off. Just push it to one side. Do that again. Three cloves of garlic. Just roughly chop the onions. We just want to break it down so that the the food processor has something to work with and it's not working with big chunks. We wanted to get the job done fairly quickly. And the garlic will just give that a little cut as well. So we bring this back in. Like that. Making another bad video that nobody will watch. Bit of bacon. Stuck here. Chicken. This one. Bacon in there. Let's get our chicken breasts into the uh, the blender. You don't need to chop them. Comes out of the blender. Look. Comes out of the blender looking like that. Here's your chicken. Take out your blade and throw it in. Now we haven't put any salt and pepper in here yet, but we have put a chicken stock cube. So let's just cook it up a little bit and then we'll taste it. It might need additional salt. And it definitely needs a little bit of ground black pepper. Gonna need a little bit of cream. Ingredients in the description. A bit of flour. It'll thicken the mixture up. You don't want a runny chicken pot pie. Leave that to simmer for a few minutes. What if no salt? Heard no salt. You heard it, woman. Gonna use this. So now we have to cut out from this pastry, something big enough to just fit into that perfectly. That might do it. Okay. All right. Can you see that what I'm doing? Can you see what I'm doing right now at all? Good Christ, where is it? There it is. All right. Let's just cut a circle around that. See if that happens. Get that out of the way. Okay. So then we lift this up, bring it over. And see, then we just have to like 
drop it in neatly. Try not to break it. Ideally, if you have some child slave labor or an unwitting wife, uh, this is where you engage them. So let's just, maybe we could just squish it down a little bit like that. That make a difference? Hey, that's handy. And then just lash it in like that. I have a feeling because the kitchen is really warm, this dough might actually stretch of its own accord. So let's just do another one like that. After a while, you end up with that. All right, not so bad. Give your, give your mixture a bit of a stir because it's been sitting there for five minutes, kind of cooling down a little bit. Grab a bit, dump it in there like that. So once you've got that done, move it out of the way. This is where the puff pastry comes in. You want puff pastry on top of your pies. It's much nicer. This is probably going to fit perfectly. Okay. Let's see if it goes. Ah, perfect. Look. That's exactly what you want. Okay, so I'll make a few of them. Do you have any eggs? Oh no! Did you use all the eggs? Yeah. Now, let's get some sesame seeds in there as well. They give a bit of a visual appeal. That's all it is, just a bit of visual appeal. People like that kind of crack, you know. In preparation for getting this onto the oven, just carefully, I'm going to put it on a cookie sheet or a, a pizza tray. 200 degrees, 20 minutes. Top and bottom heat. Holy moly. Oh, a lot of steam. Be careful with the heat. Look at that. Don't they look nice? So, get your little towel. Now the benefit of having them on a pizza tray comes into its own. Bring them over here. Now we're gonna let them rest for maybe five minutes. 